Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220, KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. Well, this is official. That's right. It is officially the holidays and the holiday weekend right here on the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHS, and now FM 98.1. And today's show is going to be fantastic. But I'm going to go ahead and introduce my co-host today. Gino is out of town visiting family and friends in Argentina. Must be nice. So he left the show to... Chris Ingram and I. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thanks for having me. Love uh, being on. I'm sure you guys uh, know his voice, know of Chris Ingram. He's actually one of our first guests, one of our favorite guests forever now. We've been doing this for seven and a half years. Uh, and you can find out more by going to donandgino.com or listen and watch us live. You'll see this very handsome man who's got Gino invol uh, involved in Afterburn Fitness and gotten us back in shape. So thank you for that, by the way. You've You're changed welcome. our lives. Yep. Uh, we watched him go uh, just from a mere mortal to just stud. And we're like, how do we be like you? <laughs> You're still that way in the gym. I don't, I don't even come near you in the gym. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting old. It, it does affect you, though. It it's does changing. change. Because remember, I told Not you guys. Because I'm about, let's see, how old are you now? 42. Okay. So I got them by over 10 years. And I used to try to hang with these punks. And I'd be like, I'm telling you, it's hard when you get older. 40 was a, a weird yeah, yeah Try 50. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 trust me, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're starting to feel it, right? I am. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. Oh, and remember, you actually even got upset because we got extra credit for being over 40 and you were 39. You're like, it's not fair. Well, then, no, no, no. I got mad because one person, one person right. got a huge that advantage. I would have gone to high school with got a huge advantage of yeah, over a half a year. Because he was like, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. Like a, birthday thing. Yeah, he was like three quarters of a year and it made, older it, than me. And it made the difference. It did. It, it changed did. everything. You guys were Anyone. machines. Anyway, so we're digressing. You're here on the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. Go to donandgino.com. Click on the live stream button. Voila, thanks to Furman sitting here in the corner. We video this at our custom-built studio right here at Skyline Homes, now Finance of America. So don't get us wrong. Same great people. No one's left. We just have a bigger support than ever with Finance of America, one of the top 10 lenders in the nation. Now we're 50 states wide, capital, marketing, resources, all for you. We have over 300 products for you. You can find out more by going to financeofamerica.com or always santacaritahomeloan.com. We're always here to help you out. And then we put together a group for you. Chris is part of the group to make sure. Remember, our goal here is to guide you to personal financial wellness. That's not just about home loans. It's about everything, whether it's insurance planning, college planning, financial planning, could be divorce, um, you name it, we have it. And you can go to um, aprgi.com, aprgi.com, which is America's Professional Resource Group. Chris has been part of that. This is how we put this group together. We use all this entire group. I used to always tease Chris that out of all these professionals we have, I've used every one. I hope I don't have to use one. And I've now used them all, <laughs> including <laughs> Jim Reap, our divorce, uh, our family law um, specialist. Um, Jim's on our show a lot. So now I can honestly say they're all phenomenal. <laughs> right. <laughs> never thought you never know that's why we have America's professional research right. you don't know when you need an estate planner you don't know when you need maybe a, a or the ability to have a college plan or a financial plan or or somebody to talk to about where do I go from here so that's why I love that you're co-hosting our show today um, how was your Thanksgiving you have a good Thanksgiving it was excellent yep I, I love uh, I love this time of the year this kicks off the holidays you start every it's that warm feeling. I love it. If everybody was this way all year long, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? Right. That happy feeling, the holidays, high, happy holidays and all that. And then yeah, uh, was, somebody was yelling at me trying to steal my parking space the other day. So uh, there is a little bit of hostility that, out there. There, there is a little bit of that yeah. during the holidays, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> so this, this Saturday, we want to go over something that's very pertinent to today because... You know, everybody's got this time of the year, everybody's spending, worrying about spending, worrying about where their financial position is. And one of the things that can affect that has been something that affects all of us, regardless of whether you have money in the stock market or not. It affects our economy, it affects you, or affects somebody you know. And we have seen a recent meltdown in the stock market, mm -hmm. basically. And I'm going to blame you. It's my fault. It is your fault. 100%. Because Chris Ingram with Ingram Financial Solutions has been on our show now for seven years. And ironically, at least 
four of the times you've been on the show has been during a major crash in the market. Hundred percent. But you know, I, <laughs> I, I I've been on the show quite a bit. Yes. And I think what that points out is that this happens a lot. Right. So I think that's the first thing to take from it, um, <laughs> and take a little bit of the load off of me because it does feel like I'm a bit of a bad omen. I walk through the door here to come on the radio show. Market decides to tank right before I get here. Okay. So. So when you, you don't start running for the hills now going, oh, shoot, why should we listen to Chris then? He's a bad omen. No, no. He has nothing to do with the market. He actually is here to help you understand what's going on in the market. And we're going to talk about why. I have my opinions as well as why the market's doing what it's doing. Because there's reasons behind it. It's not just because everybody decides to sell at the same time. Part of it's that, panic. But it just happens. Last time, we, we pulled our show because we've been doing this for a long time. We pulled one of our shows that you... Um, we're on the show and it tanked like 600 points that day. I think it was something horrendous. Right. And that was back in 2012. So to just give you some history, how long Chris has been on the show with us. And the very next year we tracked it because we go, what's watch? Because you said, don't panic. Let me handle the ulcer. Mm -hmm. Don't sell everything because the market would probably rebound because this is just what's called a correction. So hang in there. Sure enough, the next year, this is not going to say what your portfolio would have done but the market itself went back up 28 percent from that time frame yep so you if you panicked and sold because you panicked you would have missed one of the largest uh improvements in your portfolio that you may have ever seen yep so today we got about three and a half minutes for this first segment so what chris and i are going to start doing is giving you an idea of why we feel anyways, the market's doing what it's doing because a lot of you are panicking. I guarantee it. I see panic selling, especially in the, what's the, the, the favorite stocks? The, uh, uh, the FANG stocks. FANG stocks. Yep, the popular uh, stocks. And yep. everybody's like, look at, I'm great at, at, at being in the stock market because I chose Amazon, Apple, NVIDIA, you know, the, the popular ones. And you've done very well, as mm -hmm. I have. I have mm -hmm. some of those stocks myself. In fact, mm -hmm. I have the portfolio that you and I go over. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you now seeing Netflix and some of these others that you were so high on going away. And I bet you a lot of you are panicking. And we're going to talk about why you should not panic and why the market's doing what it's doing. This happens all the time, like you said, Chris. It's called a market correction. And market corrections actually can be good mm -hmm. if you don't panic. Right. Yeah, they provide opportunity. Um, and I was listening to uh, Tony Robbins' podcast not too long ago, and he had... Um, James Altucher, I think is his name, uh, on the show. And they were talking about it. They were saying that um, almost every year the stock market has about a 10 to a 14% correction. Right. Yet every single time that it happens, everybody panics like it's, you know, the end of the world. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's a very frequent occurrence. It's just a matter of how do you respond to it? How do you either take advantage to, of it or um, make sure not to let your emotions get the best of you and get beat up by it at the same time? Right, because you can add insult to error by panicking. Um, because a lot of, if you're not a professional in this industry, you're going to go with the ways of the pop populace and the populace is right now going, Oh no, the market's tanking. Now are those people that are selling and telling you, and we we're talking your friend going, I'm selling my stock because of that. Are they experts? Do they know the technicals in the market? Do they know wise? Maybe, right. but maybe not. Right. So be careful who you're listening to. Well, and, and I mentioned it to you before. Uh, I was listening to Jim Cramer, um, and I'm not one of those people that absolutely despises Jim Cramer. And every time I hear him talk, um, I think he's a little bit of an emotional investor. But um, he had a headline this morning that said, um, you know, if you think the Fed or it was basically sell your stocks, if you think the Fed is going to raise rates in December, because you you're going to wish you would have. Um, and the only thing I dislike about that quote is that it's, it's very generic. It, you it, think, you know, it's, it's, it, I always say it depends on the person. There's different strokes for different folks. So what people need to do is think about their individual situation. And even professionals are throwing out this sell everything call, um, which can get you into really hot water. Um, All right. it's not a good thing. So since we're going to go to break here, and again, you're here on the Don and Gino Real Estate Finance Show for over seven and a half years, sharing what you need to know, want to know, shooting about real estate, finance, and so much more. We have Chris Ingram with Ingram Financial Solutions here. He's my, and mine and Gino's personal financial advisor, but he's been part of the show for the good seven years we've been on the show. And what we want to go over for the rest of the show is really important for you or someone you know, and you're going to be educated a little 
little bit on how to handle a market such as now, a stock market that is going down. Are there advantages? What are things you should be thinking about based on your particular scenario? Not everybody is the same. Not everybody's time frames is the same. No, not everybody's, um, you know, feelings on how aggressive they can be or should be are the same. So in the next three segments, we're going to talk about why we feel it's tanking, where the bottom may be, and how you can potentially take advantage of this or control your emotions during a, I don't know, an emotional time in the stock market. So don't go away. This is great stuff, and Chris is going to help us through this. So hopefully you don't go away. We'll be right back to Don and Gino, Real Estate and Finance Show.